We're back on the Morning Brew with Friends with Jeremy. I haven't seen you around in a while. You've yeah, been busy. You know, uh, yeah, I've been really busy. Uh, I'm working at Tractor doing uh, the Good Times liaison thing. Right. You guys always have Carlos on. Right. So, and you're, you're like Carlos's other half on yeah, this. Yeah, now I'm his better half. So, but <laughs> Don't tell anyone, but are we on TV or something? Right. Yeah, so, yeah. But, but it's uh, our secret. No, it will never yeah. get out. <laughs> <laughs> I saw your entrepreneurial happy hour mm -hmm. uh, last Thursday. That was a great event yeah, you guys had. Yeah, that's always a Is it event. monthly now at Tractor? Yes, uh, first Thursday of every month. And, and that so that's sponsored by the Hispano Chamber of Commerce. Um, you guys just had on Eric Whitmore, too. Mm -hmm. On Monday. And, and he helps coordinate that as well. And we had uh, Bounce Chat on and, and uh, around there. and. Yeah, just it's great to have all those. Uh, it's a lot of vibrant energy from yes, that community, yes, right? Yes, a lot of vibrant energy, and a lot of people come out, and um, it's just entrepreneurs sharing stories about their their glums and glows mm -hmm. in the creative startup world. So it's a lot of fun. Cool. Yeah, there's a lot of other stuff going on though, attractive too, right? Yes, um, we also got. Um, this coming St. Patty's Day on Thursday the 17th, we're doing a... Is that already next week? Yeah. Oh, my week. gosh. We're doing a triple art opening with uh, David Santiago and Lewis Wilcox and the Gorilla Photo Group. And then we're having three bands. We're having uh, the Kevin Eric Trio, Decker, and Clark Libby. Cool. So, oh, yeah. I love Clark. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's, he's great. He's, all, yeah, he's, he's of, awesome. He's lots of yeah. fun. Yeah, so. Cool. Well, and I think the big thing, though, that you've been doing yourself is mm -hmm. the Gorilla Film Festival. Yeah, so me and. I think uh, a lot of people know you as the tractor guy, but you're also yeah, a film yeah. guy. I, yes, I'm also a film guy. As a filmmaker myself, um, I really love the 48 hour film project, and there aren't many. Uh, Film fest per se here, and so there's a lot of film making, but yes, not a, a chance to filmmaking. see the films that are made, exactly. right? Exactly, and if there are, they're usually like tickets that are very expensive, and they're like right. day passes. They're like fifty bucks, and if you want to see, you got to like, go to seventeen movies just to make exactly, it worth your while. Yeah, All right. yeah, and so and then once in a while the Guild House showcases, but they're usually like a, a Academy Award nominated shorts, and so uh, me and my partner, the co-founder of McCool. Uh, we decided we wanted to do something that was for the people that promoted filmmaking awareness for, for not only just uh, the filmmakers themselves, but for film goers mm -hmm. and to provide an opportunity to open Albuquerque eyes uh, to the international short film scene. Which is and, actually huge. Yeah, it's huge. It's massive. And there are a ton of 10 minute short film fests happening all over America. And especially. Uh, and these are not films Colorado. about shorts. Huh? These are not films about no, shorts. No, these aren't films about shorts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's ones about jean shorts, yeah. satin shorts. No. But um, <laughs> so our, our intention with this was to bring it to the people. And so we wanted to create something that promoted film making awareness and that was affordable mm -hmm. so uh, and that was kind of like an underground movement hence the Guerrilla Film Festival uh, name so where do you find the films for this uh, well, uh, actually, my... You uh, just, like, steal them off YouTube, Yeah, we just pull them off the Internet. <laughs> uh, uh, the guy I'm working with, he does programming for the Durango Film Festival, and he also does uh, programming for the uh, Palm Springs Film Festival and other film festivals around the U.S. So he's, so he's plugged into that yeah, world yeah. already. and he actually lives here, and he's a filmmaker as well, and um, he wanted to bring these great films, that these international films that he saw to Albuquerque. So he approached me and was like, and wanted me to uh, just kind of promote and develop uh, the name itself. So it's something that can not only just be used in Albuquerque, we want filmmakers and film goers all over the U.S. to take the name and create their own guerrilla film fest. You just throw it out there for yes, everybody. Yes, for everyone. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, and that's why, and we're making it affordable. It's just five dollars to get in. And where's it going to be? It's going to be at the Cosmos. Oh, uh, I love that little yeah, spot. Yeah, yeah. the factory on Fifth. Exactly. There. Fifth and the railroad tracks. Yes. Great little uh, spot. 1715 Fifth Street. And uh, then afterwards at 9 p.m. we're gonna have the after party at Tractor. We're gonna have uh, DJ Tani Udero who's gonna be playing. Cool. So, so the films this year, are, are any of them those Oscar nominated films? Or? Uh, no, these are short shorts. So um, 
They they aren't Oscar nominated. Uh, we didn't get any Oscar nominated ones. So these are more like underground films, more indie films that you're going to be seeing. And uh, we're gonna we have films from all over the world. So and unfortunately, we don't have any local ones. Yeah. And, and yet, but that was kind of the intention. Yeah. Is we wanted to open it up to so that. Albuquerque film goers could see what's happening around the world to give them a sort of compass about and, what's And let them know you can make a short film and it can be shown. Yeah. But yeah, well, and we're planning something in the future that's a more localized version of this. Very so, cool. Yeah. So it, since they're shorts, how many films can you show in a couple hours? Oh, uh, we're going to be showing 12 altogether. That sounds good. Yeah. So yeah. the, um, is there one that really stands out, one that's like a do not miss film? Uh... Actually, I don't want to say anything, but there's a really good one from Pakistan, and uh, you're just going to have to come to the Gorilla Film Festival on Friday to check it out. That sounds good. So, so Friday at what time again? Friday at 7 p.m. Five dollars, you could go to Hold My Ticket um, or Gorilla GorillaFF.com. Sounds and, good. And um, buy tickets there. And then head to Tractor afterwards, which is just up the street in Wells Park. Yep. I love it. Yeah. Sounds good. We'll be back in a couple of minutes in the morning brew with friends.